Oh, fuck. There we go. Now it's hitting him, too. Any last wishes? Uh, there we go. Please get that in time. Yes, okay. Come on, hit it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We can do it. Your life ebbs low. Come on. Holy shit. Damn it, you missed. Holy fuck. All right, one more hit. Come on. Come on. One more hit. Come on. Just yes. Holy shit, you are amazing. Amiri, you deserve a fucking trophy for this performance. Good God. Fuck it, collect it all. Follow me. You see a dark haired man of about forty five, though the wrinkles on his face make him look sixty at first sight. He's currently a prisoner, judging from his tied hands. He slouches a bit, squinting short-sightedly at the light as he moves his lips as though speaking to someone invisible. He jerks his head up as he notices you. Praise Irastil! Someone finally chased off those scoundrels! Thank you, stranger. My name is Jihad Kavken. I'm a priest of Erastil from Galt. Those bandits attacked me as I was crossing the river, said they wanted to take, take me to their leader, make me heal their wounds. Not a chance. The strength granted me by Erastil is meant to help honest people, not robbers. Hmm. How did you come to be in these lands, Jihad? I, I was led here by visions sent by the Elk God. Erastil showed me that somewhere in this wild land lies the Temple of the Elk, an ancient shrine forlorn and desecrated. I saw the ruins of the temple and shadows of a predator lurking in the sorcerous fog. I felt the echoes of the vicious rituals performed at the once blessed place. I have no doubt Erastil revealed all this to me so I could stop the ungodly sorcery that's desecrating this temple. Where is this temple? That I don't know. Visions, even divine ones, are often vague and unreliable. I know only that the temple is somewhere near, in the Gnarl Marches. But I'm afraid that I won't be able to find it myself, what with the bandits lurking around every corner in this place. Jihad shakes his head sadly. I'm glad I could help. Jihad mutters a bit, rubbing his hands. Oh, these times, to be as surprised to meet an honest man as to see a manticore at a vegetable stall. Thank you for your help. I've exhausted my supply of prayers, but I'll gladly repay you in the future once I've restored my strength. Come to me if you ever need to be healed or blessed. I'm afraid an old fool like me won't be able to handle the mission given me by Erastiel on my own. How can I search for the temple when the bandits around here won't let me take a single step? I'll head to Oleg Leviton's trading post to rest and think on what to do next. Please, traveler, if you happen to discover the ruins of the Temple of the Elk, Come and form old Jihad, my gratitude will know no bounds. Perfect. No stopping now. Oh, 
Ah! The box! The box. The box. What is that? A small tent of some sort? Ooh. You find a small cache under all the clothes and blankets. Opening the lid of a small hollow, you find a box full of bottles. An inscription on the side reads, Wine for the Stag Lord. Don't you dare steal it, fools. I'll make sure you rot. Yeah, obviously. Ooh. Take the wine. Hmm. Damn it. Part I hmm. breaking the wine would have been a much better message to the stag lord, but eh, whatever. I see something. Anything else? It is done. Can you make an epic pose? What the hell? Suddenly a wolf, a dog, just appears out of nowhere. Oh, I gained zero experience. That's sad. I'm very depressed about that. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I should go back to the trading post. That is a long journey, though. That is a journey and a half. Please, please avoid. Yes! I'd rather not get my ass handed to me. I don't have too much stuff to dump off, but, eh. Hmm. Didn't even know I had that. Listen, there's well since you dispatched the bandits with such skill, maybe you can help us with another problem. Sure. There's a feral swine living here in the woods, not a normal wild pig. We're talking about a vicious boar, as big as a bear and as wicked as a devil. The locals call him Tusk Gutter. Many hunters have lost life and limb to him. Vekel Benzen found his lair and went to kill the beast, but came back with one leg. He put a bounty on the boar's head, but it looks like there aren't any heroes around here bold enough to claim it. Maybe you will rid us of this monster. Hey, we're better than the local wussies, right? Wanna bet I can chop this... Uh, tusk out of snout with a single swing? Oh yeah, sure, let's go kill this tusk gutter. Right, that's the way I like it. Let's do it. Amiri gives you a wide grin and slaps your shoulder. I don't know why I keep reading the fucking text backwards, but hey.
Yes, yeah, Oleg, show me thine wares. Uh-huh. Great sword, huh? Perfect. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. Wait. Can't I... I think I need some more... Not that... No. Where? 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 There! Camping supplies and rations. I definitely need some more of that shit. Oh, dear lord! Fuff. Really? Okay, that's good enough, I guess. I don't know how many... I think it's one per. So I should be fine. And if I'm not, then whatever. I've been doing fine so far, so... I found your ring, Svetlana. Kressel, the bandit woman who had it, tried to kill me and died in the fight. Oh, shit. Her real name was Irena before all this. She was the daughter of my mother and her second husband. My half-sister, and I can't, I can't help but feeling like everything that happened to her was my fault. She always had a wildness to her. She'd wander the streets, hanging out with a bad crowd until the day she passed. Mother complained about Irena constantly. Back then, it was just, a cru it was just cruel games and strange escapades. She never really hurt anyone back in Restov. <coughs> oh god, the sneeze. Her f uh, blah blah. Her father didn't live much longer than our mother, so I decided to try and help Irena. I brought her here to the Stolen Lands, though Oleg was against it. And once here, she immediately fell under the Stag Lord's influence. She never even needed to meet him. The stories and rumors from local hunters and bandits were enough to win her over. She would tell us how he was a real leader, unlike Restov's softies. Eventually she ran away, only to return under a new name with a pack of thugs to collect taxes from us. What's worse, she participated in the torture and execution of prisoners along the Stag Lord's minions. And now, meeting such an end, I realize you did what you had to. Perhaps it's all for the best, but still, I wonder if everything could have turned out differently. Svetlana lifts her head. Thank you for returning my ring to me, I truly appreciate it. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a while. Hmm. Well, that sucks. I have three siblings myself. It would, it would suck if I... If I hired someone to accidentally murder them. Or if I accidentally hired someone to murder them, I mean...
Huh. I feel kind of shitty about that. I'm considering just reloading and then redoing this off camera. March on. Uh, anyway, I've been recording for a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoy- Oh my god, it's been three hours. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment with feedback, like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Ancient here, signing off.